done. Well done indeed. That's something you don't see every day. A pair of shrines. This one is clearly Andrastian, albeit from a very early period, likely pre-divine. But this is Elven, one of their gods. Uh, what was it? Every mother finds Druffalo among sleeping juniper groves. G something, the one with the deer. What was that? Every mother finds Druffalo. Oh, it's uh, a memory aid to help me with the names of the elven gods. Every is Elgernan, mother is Mithal, finds is Fallow something. I was more focused on early Chantry history. I didn't really do elves. Are you sure that your memory aid caught all the elven gods? Well, there's only one F for Falondine. Oh, I suppose I forgot Fenerol. Most people do. This isn't him, though. It's, uh, it's one of the ladies, uh, obviously. G something. Gilanan. Yes! Brilliant, thank you. Oh, that would have bothered me all day. Two shrines for two lovers. Inquisitor Emeridan and Talana. Maybe Talana was an elf. Oh, yes. That's good. The Chantry expunged references to elves before the exalted march on the Dales. They erased the canticle of Shartan. They must have done the same to Talana. The Chantry should not rewrite history to cover up inconvenient truths. Agreed. The Chant of Light should spread the truth, not suppress it. Regardless, the important thing is what this tells us. It's not a burial site. That much is obvious. Look at those flowers. They're not native to the area. What if they were left at the shrine as an offering? Yes. A night of prayer before battle against the dragon. But then where? Where? We're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, where did you go? I got Professor Kenrick here safely. The rest is up to you. Lady Harding was quite nimble in the wilderness. I'll be watching to make sure the Hackenites don't come back.